Despite the obvious fact that electric cars are the future, it seems that Porsche is not ready to give up internal combustion engines so easily. It is understandable as the company does not belong to mass manufacturers and 70% of all their cars produced under the brand are still on the move. Therefore, who, if not they, could have come up with environmental gasoline? Synthetic liquid fuel without a carbon footprint? So, can Porsche's mysterious e-fuel save gasoline cars? Many countries around the world have announced that they will soon abandon cars with traditional internal combustion engines. For instance, after 2035, all new cars sold in the EU and the US must be carbon neutral. Yes, petrol or diesel vehicles can be used, but it is expected that until 2050, only environmentally friendly cars will remain in operation in the EU and the US. And since most of them will be electric, then there will most likely be no gas stations for fuel cars. Porsche is well aware of this issue, and they already have fully electric models in their lineup. And do not forget that they are part of the Volkswagen Group, a company that is the global locomotive of the electrification of the automotive industry. All in all, Porsche says that by 2030, 80% of its lineup will be electric. But why not 100%? because Porsche has an ambitious project to keep ICE cars on the road while ridding them of their carbon footprint. It's called e-fuel. Yes, you heard that right. Porsche is going to produce eco-friendly gasoline. How exactly? If we do not delve into the chemistry of the process, then everything is quite simple. Step 1. By using renewable energy, we start the electrolysis of water and get hydrogen. By the way, if you are interested in innovations in the production of hydrogen, then we discuss them in our other videos. Step 2. We capture carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Use it as well as hydrogen to synthesize methanol. Step 3. As a result of technology developed by the ExxonMobil company, we use synthetic methanol to turn it into gasoline. Actually, the additives required for e-fuel to serve as a full replacement for traditional gasoline do not reduce the carbon footprint of this fuel to zero. But even so, when burned, it emits 90% fewer emissions than regular gasoline. And at the same time, we are as far as possible from the usual processes of extraction and conversion of oil into gasoline. Not that Porsche owners are concerned about the price, but how much does such gasoline cost? Let the Germans consider it only for their cars for the time being, but e-fuel can be a potential savior of ICE cars. At the end of 2022, Porsche reported that such fuel costs 10 euros per liter, or $45 per gallon. But at the same time, the company believes that with the growth of the efficiency of the technology and thanks to economies of scale in 2026, the cost can be reduced to 1.7 euros per liter, or $7.6 per gallon. And this, by the way, is the average cost of gasoline in the EU today, although twice as expensive as the cost of gasoline in the US. Sure thing, we need to take into account that the announced figures are the cost, but the selling price will be more expensive. Even now, we do not know what the price of gasoline will be in the next 15 years when Europe and the United States will begin to abandon liquid-fueled cars. Yet, there is a nuance. To achieve such a cost, many factors need to coincide, including cheap renewable energy. This explains why the first e-fuel plant was not built in Europe but in Chile. It is here at the confluence of the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans that there is an area of extremely low pressure, which provokes strong and, most importantly, constant winds. For comparison, if in Germany the winds are available 66 days a year, then here in Chile, it is 270 days out of 365. Launched late last year, the e-fuel plan is due to reach full commercial capacity in 2026. Then it will produce 1 million tons of green methanol per year, and some of it will be processed into 145 million gallons of gasoline. Certainly, it is still too early to talk about selling this type of fuel to the free market. For now, Porsche plans to test the e-fuel in motorsport, first in the Porsche Mobile One Super Cup Series and then possibly in the Formula Series. Only then it will become available, although only Porsche owners may be able to buy it at the beginning. 
Despite the generally promising technology, Porsches claim production volume is half the amount of fuel that the US burns in a day. It makes us wonder, can Porsche e-fuel become a mass solution for liquid-fueled vehicles and extend their lifespan? Or will it become a niche product for auto racing and ice sports cars? You will definitely find out about this if you subscribe to our channel, where we do not miss a single significant innovation in the world.